Hello, Gareth here, and um, just going to talk about a painting I did. And um, it was a rice field, a Japanese rice field. So it all began with um, this sketch. So um, it is a sketch, and uh, I didn't bother with the sky because I really wanted to make sure that the, um, the landscape itself looked interesting. So at first I wanted to do this soft, misty uh, background and I was very interested in getting the texture here right in the foreground. And the thing that I most liked about this rice field was the uh, patches of mud and the really beautiful pattern that creates. So that's what attracted me to this scene. So this is a painting of a place in um, Shonai. Oita Prefecture, Japan. So anyway, that's that's where I began. And then I moved on to this sketch. So um, here the rice field is looking a lot better. And I was playing with the idea of having like um, a bluer kind of uh, background and I got rid of the mist. And again, I'm playing with texture here in the foreground. So it's just playing around with things. And then in my third sketch, I suddenly did a golden, a golden sunset and had that reflected here in the water. I quite like that. And then I thought it would be interesting to have a tree here in the foreground. So I quite like that idea. So then I tried to bring it all together into this finished painting and um, although I like the sky I think it's a bit too busy and um, it's not clear that this is smoke really it's supposed to be smoke it, it looks I don't know a bit confusing so um, I like the texture here in the foreground though so not a bad attempt and interesting and so then I moved on to this one so here it's much clearer that this is smoke but again the sky is too busy and um, and I'm happy with the rice field I think that's quite good I wanted to get like a white part and a warmer part and then a cool part in that rice field so I'm fairly happy with this but I think it can be improved a lot and then what happened is I just decided to paint a totally different kind of rice field and I did a portrait style painting. So I really love the sky in this. I think the sky is awesome. And um, I thought the landscape was a bit more interesting. And then um, I did another one. And in this one, I uh, wanted to show uh, figures along the um, footpath and also um, little shoots of rice here but I'm not sure if that really worked out so well I like the sky and the mountain in the background and these um, power lines or whatever and the figures but I'm not sure about these shoots and then there were just some sketches I did so this is one of my first sketches and I really like these sketches. They seem to have an energy that um, the more finished paintings just don't have. Uh, I like this use of gouache here. I think that looks nice. And I used a more colorful, more powerful sky. So I was quite happy with that, but it is a sketch. And then I did another one. I can't stop. And um, yeah, this figure here is like the focal point so that was another sketch just playing around with things and then i decided yeah so i decided um that maybe portrait isn't the best format so i should be doing landscape so i had to think about am i going to have like the emphasis on the sky give most space to that or on the uh, water and I decided to do it on the water so I think this is the first one I did I'm quite happy with that and um, 
Of course, in the way you do get the sky still in the um, in the rice field, in the water in the rice field, and I decided to make this path a light green because the sun is catching it, and to have these dramatic shadows. So, and I, I, I kind of like the shoots of rice in this painting. So that's not bad. And then I just played around uh, with the idea of like the sun being really low and catching the tree. Um, so I didn't paint the sky, but just playing with that idea and also catching the grass here and um, tinting it orange because I quite like that. And perhaps I was playing with warm and cool. So I've got very blue here and very orange here, but, but I didn't actually continue with that. Um, not much anyway so um, I did another one and um, I like the way the figures in this um, footpath they merge with this background and connect the picture so I like that so that was just playing around with with everything again and then um, another playing around <laughs> I really like though the colour in this, it's really glowing so I love that and um, yeah quite happy with this one. In some ways it's not quite right but but I like it and I did the um, edge of the um, foliage more correctly, a really nice dry brush effect so it looks a bit more realistic and uh, more interesting. Yeah and then another one but this time I thought maybe these roofs are going to be cool not bright yellow because they're in the shade and maybe also this this uh, the water in the rice field here is going to be cooler and the lights going to be more here so and, and I gave him a bit of an orangey hat because that was supposed to be the sunlight catching the hat but um, I should have done a bit more work on that and um, here now this light green is really emphasized I quite like that and then the final one which I did a video of is this one so it's a nice painting but I think the other one just has more energy but I'm quite happy with this um, it's a little bit subdued compared to the other ones it looks more finished and kind of more professional perhaps but it just doesn't have the energy of the sketch so there you go so I would have liked to have done some more paintings of this rice field and um, played around with the colors a bit more but um, I'm a bit busy at the moment and have to move on with other projects but I'm quite happy with leaving this here and uh, I really had a lot of fun with this so I hope you enjoyed me talking about this and the creative process. Um, I don't know about you but you can see it can be a very messy process and there can be real sudden and dramatic changes in what you do. But there can also be certain progressions and stuff like that as well and slight improvements at the same time. So I guess there's two parts of the process. There you go. So. Um, that's all and happy painting. Bye.